Um, I didn't grow up in the countryside, but I really wanted to. I desperately, desperately wanted to. And my access to the countryside farming, although I was farming in my background, my father's side, was through books. And I come across these ladybird books every now and then, and they leap out at me like oh, old yeah. friends because there's Peter and Jane, and there's Mummy and Daddy in there, and they look uncannily like my Mummy and Daddy, you know. Um, this this book is called Fun at the Farm, and in it Peter and Jane pay a visit to the local farmer, and he's everything you imagine a farmer would be, you know. He lives in a, a timbered farmhouse, and there's a picture of the farmer, and. I just, I think the quality of the illustration is just so great for children. I remember every single page of these books. And I only have to come across the front cover and I'm just, I'm back there learning to read. And not just learning to read, learning about another lifestyle that I didn't have, that I desperately wanted. I grew up in the forces, so, you know, we were shunted around on horrible RAF camps behind barbed wire. It couldn't have been further away than, you know, playing on a tractor with hay bales. But to me, you know, I wanted to be Peter and Jane. And what strikes me now when I look, you know, is just how this is this is a world that's disappeared. You know, the, the farming techniques. Um, not quite. Almost. Not quite. But, you know, for instance, they ride around in a field and they don't seem to have saddles. And, you know, it's, it's that, that sense of freedom and, and life in the countryside. Um, and there's the milk in the parlour. Mm. So... It was building up a kind of an image for me of rural life, which I, I suppose I was really half in love with, even at that young age. You know, I wanted to be, I wanted to be there in that world. So I like to collect ladybird books even now <laughs> because of that. But I think it, it's the visual, you know, the visual appeal of the pictures, most of all. Um, and everyone looked so happy. That was the thing. <laughs> Every single page of them was smiling, and you get this sense of an order <laughs> with the farmer and the milkman and the butcher, and, the and they're all in their appointed social roles, and they're all benign. And another puzzling thing at the end, Mummy says that they have to drink their milk and go to bed. And I was always very puzzled that, because I hated going to bed and I hated drinking milk. And, you know, there they are smiling and being completely pleased to be told to go to bed. It was so remote from my life, but that, you know, to me... Yeah, the sun always shot with Peter and Jane. Peter and Jane, yeah. Mm. Well, I, don't, I, don't, I think that was harmless because, like I said, it was for me pure escapism. But there were things they did that I liked to do, like building dens. There was enough point of contact. And they were brother and sister, and they went everywhere together, and they were happy. And that was really puzzling to me. Puzzling to me. Puzzling. It didn't make you sad that you couldn't oh, have done that. Okay. Absolutely, yeah. It was like a kind of nostalgia for something. Mm. You know, my family are very much associated with the land, but not in my, my... My son wants to be a farmer, so I think it will come out. But I felt like I was in exile from, the, you know, from a very, very early age. I felt like that was where I belonged. So, and the book, the book played that, that part really.